I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. You've got to be able to compartmentalize your decision making though, otherwise you'll skew the outcome. If you can do that, there's a lot that can be learned by playing a game of solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand, see where the strengths lie, pick a category to play, maybe even a hand. Then we'll do the Charleston. After the Charleston, we can do fifth player betting if you so choose. Pause the video, look at everybody's hand, and pick who you think will win the game. Write your guess in the comments section below and include why you think they'll win the game. Be sure not to read any of the comments until after you watch the video. That way you won't be affected by what you read. I'm going to place my bet using this. We'll talk about the results after the game. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for East. Single flower, dragon, dots with a pair of fives, four bams, all singles, one, two, five. We have all the fives. all the fives. I wonder if we could play an addition hand. Five, seven, twelve. Let's get rid of these tiles. Keep the potential for addition in either mixed suits or one suit with the seven. Keep all the fives and the dragon in case like numbers with fives come in. And that gives us a reasonable set of tiles for the Charleston. I'd say like numbers with fives or addition or maybe even big odds if we can get nines. Let's see what we can do for South. No multiples. We do have a joker and a flower. East, west, three, six, one, two, six, two, three, four, seven. We have two twos, two sixes, east, west. I'm picking east and west with evens. That would be the fifth hand down under winds and dragons. But I would want a backup because look at how many discards we're going to have. Six, that's kind of a lot. So as a plan B, let's hold consecutive two, three, four, past those three. Happens to be one of each suit. So east and west with twos, east and west with sixes, or consecutive run two, three, four. And all of those will use the flower. We'll see what happens. Let's see what we can do for West. We have a flower, a dragon, West and South, two, four, eight, nine, four, six, and a pair of sixes. I'm thinking two, four, six, eight. 
two, four, six, eight. Keep it all. Not sure about this dragon yet. Two, four, six, eight. We'll pass those. Gather two, four, six, eight. When we run out of discards, we'll pick a hand. Single wins and dragons, three, six, nine, pair of fives. Three, six, nine with the matching dragon. We have no flowers. I wouldn't play the knitted. We have no nine crack. I'm thinking consecutive run. Three through five, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. Let's focus on consecutive run in mixed suits and pass those three. Right now we have one through six. We could do a smaller range, but no matter where we cut the range off, I want to use these fives. Let's see what comes in. So we're ready for the Charleston. We were thinking maybe addition five, seven, twelve, unless we got maybe nines and we got one. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. Let's see. We can give up the east. We really don't need. We have a one. If we get a three, we could play one, three, five, seven, nine. We could play five, seven, twelve. Like numbers with fives. Let's give up on the one. And let's give up on addition. Since we only have one flower, you need four. Let's give up on the addition and pass tiles safely. Let's break that up too, so we're not left with like numbers, just in case we get everything we want. I'm kind of thinking like numbers with fives is the best. Six tiles versus five tiles for five, seven, nine. Third hand down. Like numbers with fives and dragons. Two, four, six, eight. Ooh, look at all that. Okay. Kind of thinking of giving up on east and west. Maybe we could play two, four, six, eight. There is a mixed suit hand with flowers. Two, eight, four, six. Whoops. Two, eight, four, six, and flowers. That's pretty risky. Let's pass one wind and focus on BAMs or two, four, six, eight with flowers. This would be the fourth hand down under evens. Here we're thinking two, four, six, eight. We did get a seven, six, seven, six, seven, eight consecutive run. We really don't need those anyway, and that's a reasonable pass. Let's just pass those. Here we are building around the five. We've got a seven, three, four, five, six. This seven is way too far out. Usually when I play consecutive run, I play with a range of four. If you look at 
the hands in consecutive run, only one spans five numbers, the very first one. And it's either one through five or five through nine. In mixed suits, everything is two, three, or four numbers in a range. That's why I pick four numbers. So let's pass those. So we went right, now we're going to go across. So we've got one, three, maybe we could play one, three, five. Look, we got that one, three, five, seven, nine. Here's a one, five. I don't think we really need that. One, three, five, seven, nine in one suit. Let's keep it and see what happens. We wanted two, four, six, eight. We got odds. We wanted two, four, six, eight, and we got odds. Well, we did get a seven. Six, seven, six, seven. Let's see. I really don't like passing white dragons, especially like that. If someone's playing a year hand, that would fit right in. Maybe we should switch to six, seven, eight. Four, six, two, eight. Let's give up the four. Because here we could do two, eight, four, six. Fourth hand down under evens if six, seven, eight doesn't come in. Ooh, we got a two and a three. So we have consecutive tiles. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five, six. I really don't know about the six dot. One, two, three, or really one all the way up to five in mixed suits. Doesn't happen. Oh, let's see. We could maybe do four, five, six mixed suit Kongs. We do have two through five there. Let's give up the three and focus on either mixed suit Kongs, four, five, six, or cracks and bams. So now we're gonna do first left. We got a nine. I think we should focus on one, three, five, seven, nine. We did get a five, seven here. Five, seven. We have a west to pass. I don't know if we can use those. I think we maybe can focus on one, three, five, seven, nine. First hand under odds. We might be able to do the concealed hand though. Let's keep the fives. Cause we could do one, three, five little odds with five, seven, nine big odds. The concealed hand maybe if this doesn't come in. So let's pass those three. We picked up a four. We could pass those. I think this two, four, six, eight hand with the flower looks pretty good. Whoops. Oh my goodness. Okay, here. We really want evens or six through eight, six, seven, eight. We've got a keeper. Ooh, and there's a pair of Souths. Two, three, two, three, four, five, five. We have a gap for that hand, fourth one down. Two, three, four, five, five. If we can get a four bam, we could play the second hand down. I think because we have a pair of twos now, I think I would give up on the four, five, six and mixed suits and we have no flowers. Let's give up the six and break up the south. 
So we went left. Everybody has tiles to pass. So we're going to keep going with the next Charleston. We want one three five five seven nine one three five. Look what we got. One three five. One three five five seven nine. Maybe. So we have to make a choice because we just did second left. We we have to go across. I think I would risk passing the white dragon because we could be playing a concealed hand and we have no gaps. Let's see what happens. No keepers. We have a pair of east, but we need to cross pass. We picked up a six. Six, eight, six, seven. Two, eight, four, six. I think at this point I would give up on evens and focus on consecutive run. It's way more flexible. If you think about it, the consecutive run category is the most flexible category on the card. You've got three numbered suits, dots, bams, cracks, numbered one through nine. In consecutive run, you can play in a range, usually four numbers in a range, especially in mixed suits. It's very flexible. So let's go that route and build around the sixes. Pass those. So we've got a dragon, two, three, four. I would love to get five dots. We can pass those. So we did second left, we're going across. No keepers here. So really two, eight, four, six with flowers. Fourth hand down, I think looks the best for this player. These are options. I think I would go ahead and keep this dragon. Let's let's pass that because maybe we could play two, four, six, eight in BAMs with the matching dragon. We wouldn't need the flower though, but we'll see. We picked up a five, five through eight. That's a four number range. We have now a pair of dragons, pair of dragons. Okay, well, let's think about this. If we can get a seven dot, maybe we could play a pair hand. Six, seven, six, seven, six, seven. Let's give up the five and stick with six through eight. I'm kind of thinking the eight can go. Maybe we could even switch to like numbers with sixes and the dragons. Okay, here we have a one. I don't think that's going to be helpful though. Oh, look what we have though. We could play two, three, four with threes. Use this as joker bait. Two, three, four with threes concealed under consecutive run. So let's pass those two. Oh, three, five. Two, three, four, five. So we went across. Now we're going to do last right. We've got a keeper. One, three, five, five, seven, nine. Sometimes I'll turn tiles upside down for plan B. If we don't fill in, we have no gaps though. Let's pass those two. And actually, let's 
do a full pass for optional cross and just focus on 135 concealed. No gaps. And we have our singles. Okay, 2468, we picked up the four. Two, four, six, eight with dragons or two, four, six, eight. That would be a risky pass, but the wins were really going around. So it appears that nobody's playing wins. Seven, we got a seven. I think I would give up the eight. See if we can get seven dot and build up for maybe that pair hand. Six, seven pair hand, second from the bottom under like uh, under singles and pairs. We got a five and a two. So let's see, two, three, three, five, two, three, four, five, five. Since we have a two, I don't think we're gonna really need this three. Two, three, four, five, five, if we can get five dots. Looks really good. That's a big gap though. Fourth hand down. The other option would be two, three, four with threes concealed. Let's give up the two instead. That's why we were keeping that. So now we're gonna do optional cross. Everybody has three tiles. No keepers, five discards. We've got a two. Maybe we could play the two, four, six, eight pair hand. Two discards before we have to decide. Two, four, six, eight pair hand, second one down under singles and pairs. We'd have to sacrifice the joker. Here we were gonna play six, seven pair hand maybe, or six, seven Kong hand, or like numbers with sixes and the dragons. Well, we do have one, three, five now, little odds. I'd say keep them. Um, I would discard all, all those, I think. Okay, let's pick who we think will win this game. Pause the video and write your guess in the comment section below. I will do the same here. There's my bet. We're gonna start by discarding West. I'll get this out of the way. Nobody wants wins. We'll draw. Four dot. We'll throw west. We're just going to keep all the even tiles. We have a pung in there. Maybe we could play two, four, six, eight. Second hand down. north flower we do not know what hand we're playing we're just going to gather let's discard south eight crack we've got one three five five seven nine odds concealed Let's just hold this though, just to see what happens. Let's discard eight to crack. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Nine bam. Let's get rid of the wind. Seven dot. Look at that. Six, seven pair hand. Let's discard east. 
maybe. We could maybe play 6767, six, second hand from the bottom under consecutive run. Let's draw. Three dot. Let's get rid of the east. We're going to have to decide what to do here pretty soon. Pair twos, pair threes, pung fives. That doesn't really go together. It's going to be one or the other. Something's got to go. We're going to draw. Seven bam. Let's get rid of this four crack. These all need to go eventually. Nobody can take the four crack, so we'll draw. Five crack. Let's discard nine bam. Drawing four. West. Four bam. No. Six bam. Three, four, five, six. Let's discard. Let's see. If we get a one crack, we could play one, three, three, five dragon. Since we have a gap, we could play three, four, five, six. We have no five crack or five dot actually, two, three, four, five, five. So that would be the fourth hand down. Something's gotta go. Let's give up the white dragon. Focus on consecutive number tiles. Let's draw. Nine bam. Six bam. There's a multiple. We have a pair of sixes and a pung of fours. Let's get rid of five crack. This is concealed. Two, four, six, eight with dragons is what I'm thinking. Or the very first hand. Use that for joker bait. Or we could play two, four, six, eight. We'll have to watch discards. Let's draw. Flower. Let's discard three dot. Up here, I would not call it. We don't even know what hand we're playing. Just because you can call a tile doesn't mean you should. And in this case, since we don't know what we're playing, I would let that go. We're going to draw east. Six crack. Nope. Six crack. I would not call it here. If we could maybe play six, seven, six, seven. That's a pair for that hand. Second from the bottom under consecutive run. Let's draw four south. Five crack. We just discarded that last time. Five crack. Five, six, seven with sixes. Concealed. We'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. Either way, we really don't need this two. Two bam. Nobody can take it. If we play the first two, four, six, eight hand, that's a pair. If we play two, four, six, eight with dragons, that is also a pair. So we don't want to take that. We got a joker. That's good because this hand is probably trailing behind everybody else. So let's see. We need to probably make a decision here. Three, four, five, six. Consecutive run with either cracks and dots with the three, four. No four, that's a gap. Here we have no gap. Three, four, five, six. I suppose we could still do two, three, four, five, five. Let's go ahead and give up on the BAMs, little odds. Drawing here. Nine BAM, third one down. Four BAM, 
Okay. Two, four, six, eight, one suit. Let's go ahead and give up on, let's see. Oh, this is hard. If we played two, four, six, eight, we'd have to throw away two pair. Let's give up on that particular hand. The mixed suit hand with flowers, fourth one down. Let's focus on either bams with dragons or bams with flowers. First hand and fifth hand and give up on, on at least this. Because we could still maybe play two, four, six, eight, second hand down and use this for joker bait. So let's discard six dot. Four crack. There are two five cracks out too. We can get rid of that. Here, two, three, four, five, five, that would be a pair. Last tile, third wall. We got a five bam. Okay, now, let's see. I still don't think we can use this three. Let's give up the three. We have a, a Kong of fives. Two, three, four, five, five, if we can get five dots. We could maybe play three, four, five Kongs and use this as joker bait. Three, four, five Kongs, joker bait or two, three, four, five, and then five dot. Flower, we don't need that. Let's discard seven bam. Maybe we can use it to get jokers. Joker. Okay, we're going to have to make a decision here pretty soon. So we have seven tiles to the second hand down under evens. We have seven tiles for one suit with dragons. Second from the bottom under evens. We have seven tiles towards the very first one. A two bam is out. If we played two, four, six, eight, we could use that there. We could pung here. All we really need is an eight. Let's go ahead and give up on the dragon because we still have options with two, four, six, eight. We could play the first one or the second one. Let's draw. Eight dot, we want seven dot. Let's get rid of this five crack. Those are going out. Eight bam. Okay, down here, it would be this player's turn, but this player could take that for a Kong. If we played two, four, six, eight, or the two, four, six, eight hand in one suit, the very first one, we need a Kong regardless. Since we have no gaps with two, four, six, eight here and only one flower, let's play two, four, six, eight and Kong. We'll Kong. So now we're gonna commit Two, four, six, eight, joker bait, discards. Let's discard flower. Now here, we can't take it. And I don't know if I would be ready to commit yet to the second from the bottom. 
So we're going to draw, because nobody else can take it. One dot. Seven dot. Joker. Well, that is needed. We need a pung, single, pung, pung, single, pung. Let's discard eight dot. One dot. Red. Okay, this pair hand looks pretty good. There's a six dot and a seven dot out. Let's discard eight dot. North. White dragon. Two crack. Drawing. Three dot. Up here we need to decide. Let's just commit mix suit Kongs. We have no gaps, but we need to build up. Let's discard six bam. Discard joker bait. Down here we'll draw, but this player can pung. Pung, Kong, Pung, Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong, Pung, Kong. Discarding two bam. Eight dot. Flower. We needed that. Let's get rid of the three crack. That's a single. Red. We probably should get rid of those flowers. Eight dot. Flower. Okay, now six, seven. I think I would be tempted to switch now that we have those flowers. Six, seven, six, seven. Since there's sixes here, we can get rid of these. So I would get rid of the BAMs. We could still maybe play the pair hand, but it's pretty light right here. And there's a red dragon out. Joker. Yeah, we need that badly. Let's discard two crack. Three BAM. Discard. We'll get rid of these in a minute. Red. Second one out. We need to draw that red dragon. Five dot. Five dot. This is concealed. Eight bam. Exchange please. Thank you. Two crack. So we're ready to win on a four crack. Drawing here. One dot. Okay, let's get rid of these flowers. Nobody can take it. Oh wait, right here. Let's uh let's Kong. This hand requires a Kong. Second hand from the bottom. So we've got a pure Kong there. We'll give up on the pair hand. Six seven six seven. Discarding seven bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Two bam. Oh, Joker. Yes. Flower. North. Two bam. We need a four crack to win. 
Mahjong self pick. They were an underdog in this race and they got it. Three, four, five consecutive Kongs in mixed suits. Here, we couldn't get the six, seven here. We needed help here with our two. Here, we're playing concealed and we drew well, only two away. So who did you bet on? I bet on South. I bet on this player. I was deciding between this player and this player. Since this player could call for tiles, that's why I picked them as opposed to the concealed hand, because at the time they had no gaps, but they were light and they didn't have any jokers either. So I would have to pay 50 points like everybody else because this player self-picked their 25 point hand. I think every player in this game had the potential to win. It was just a matter of who was going to draw the tiles they needed the quickest. In this case, North. They drew some jokers. They called a tile for a Kong and that really solidified their direction. So they were able to commit and then draw into their hand. The self pick win was nice as well. Then the other players had no gaps and they drew well. All but West was two away and each had joker bait. So I think it was anybody's game. North just drew well, especially towards the end of that particular game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.